waiting for his mum to take him upstairs to play with Wallace. Sometimes mum took a long time to get ready. First she was washing dishes. And then she wanted to brush her fur. Blah, 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 and then she had to make a quick phone call. Blah, 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 blah. Hump could hear Wallace upstairs playing without him. He was playing a running around game. Wallace liked running around games a lot. OK, Humph. Are you ready to go upstairs to see Wallace now? OK. Humph's mum took Humph upstairs to see Wallace. Whoosh! You are wet now. Are you being an elephant? No, I'm being a fireman. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Nino, Nino, Nino. Firemen have hoses for squirting, like this. Whoosh! I think Wallace wants to be a fireman when he grows up. No, I don't. I want to be a fireman now. Whoosh! Wallace had a big fire engine. It had a ladder that went up and a hose that you could pull out and wind up again. Wallace liked his fire engine a lot. Nino, Nino, Nino. Fire engines are very loud. <laughs> I'm going to be a fireman too. I don't have any more fireman hats. That's OK. I can be a cowboy fireman. So Wallace and Humph played fireman Nino, and Nino, cowboy Nino. fireman together. Woo, woo. Whoosh! And they took turns pushing the fire engine. Nino, Nino, Nino. Ha-ha! Nino, Nino. Pretend there's a fire up there. Yes, there's a fire up there. I have to go up and put it out. Be careful, Wallace. You could fall off and get hurt. But I'm being a fireman. Even firemen are not allowed to climb in the kitchen table. Come on, Humph. Let's put out a different fire. So Wallace and Humph went to put out a different fire. Nino, Nino, Nino. Nino, Nino, Nino. This can make a better fire engine for me. Help me climb up. Push me, push me. OK. Nino, Nino, Nino. But something had got in the way and Wallace fell off the chair. Ow! Be careful, Wallace. You're going to get hurt. I'm not hurt. I'm a fireman. Nino, Nino. Even firemen need to be careful. Pretend this is a fire station. Yes, this is the fire station. This is where the firemen go to sleep. Yes, yes, go to sleep. So Fireman Wallace and Cowboy Fireman Humph went to sleep at the fire station. But then... Ring, ring, ring. That's the alarm. Quick, put out the fire, Humph. So Humph got up to put out the fire and he carefully climbed down from the bed. That's not the way firemen get down. They slide down the pole like this. Ow! Ow, ow, ow! Wallace had hurt himself. Wallace, what have you done now? <laughs> oh, dear. Let me take a look at you. Ow, Daddy, that hurts. 
I think we ought to let the doctor have a look at that foot, Wallace. I have to take Wallace to the doctor. Sorry. He's hurt his foot. So Humph had to go home again and Wallace's dad took Wallace to the doctor. And Humph wondered if Wallace went in an ambulance to see the doctor and whether it went Nino Nino. Humph was sad that Wallace had hurt himself and he was also sad that he had to play by himself. Where's the little elephant gone now? But later, Humph heard Wallace upstairs again. He had come back from the doctor and he was playing a thumping game. It sounds like Wallace is home. Can we go to see him? I think that would be very nice. So Humph's mum took Humph up to see Wallace. Look who's come to see you, Wallace. I like the big thing on your leg. Is that for your thumping game? It's a boot. It means I got sprained. Wallace sprained his ankle. He has to wear the boot for a few days until it's better. He has to rest and take it easy. Come on, Humph. Let's play fire engines. But resting was not very easy for Wallace. Nino, Nino, Nino. Ow! Be careful, Wallace. Nino, Nino, Nino. And Humph wondered if he might have to wear the boot for a very long time. on the floor playing with his dinosaurs. Come on, you don't want to miss the parade. But his dad had another idea. It's such a sunny day. Why don't we go to the park? Yay! So Humph and his dad set off for the park. <laughs> And the sun was shining in the sky. But by the time they got to the park, it wasn't sunny anymore. Oh dear, maybe I should have brought an umbrella. I want an umbrella. And then it turned sunny again. <laughs> Silly Dad. Humph looked for his friends. But they weren't in the park today. Humph didn't mind. Sometimes he liked to play on his own. And the sun was playing too. Sometimes it shone. Sometimes it hid behind the clouds. And then peeked out again. And then Humph noticed something else. My shadow. Hello, shadow. <laughs> Humph's shadow was a funny thing. It liked to follow Humph around. <laughs> and copy everything he did. <laughs> See if you can do this. <laughs> Humph says, shake your hands, Bow. <laughs> It's my shadow. See? Yes. Looks like he's copying you again. <laughs> Humph liked his shadow. <laughs> but then the 
the sun hid behind a cloud again. And when Humph looked down, his shadow was gone. Shadow, shadow, where has he gone? Humph looked all around the park, but he couldn't find his shadow anywhere. I think it's time to go home now, Humph. But I can't find my shadow. It's cloudy now and it looks like it's going to rain. Humph was worried about his shadow. Will my shadow be OK all alone in the park? But Dad didn't answer because it was starting to rain. Humph's dad hadn't brought an umbrella, so he used his newspaper instead. Humph hadn't brought an umbrella either, so he used the newspaper for an umbrella too. I hope my shadow has the newspaper to keep it dry. <laughs> Back at home, Humph looked out the window. He wondered where shadows go when it rains. Humph was very quiet at tea time. He was thinking about his shadow. He wondered what shadows liked to eat. After tea, Humph got ready for bed. He chose a bedtime story and waited for his dad to come and read it to him. But when he turned on the bedside light, he had a surprise. My shadow, ha-ha! You did come home after all. Hello, Humph. Are you ready for a bedtime story? Yes, and look, my shadow wants a bedtime story too. And then Humph noticed an even bigger shadow on the wall. Dad, your shadow came too. Yes, it did. So Dad read Hump for bedtime story. Once upon a time, there was a little green bus that lived in the country. And Dad's shadow read Hump's shadow a bedtime story too. And travelled from town to town, picking up all the people. And then the little bus went back to the bus garage and went to sleep. And when the story was finished, Humph kissed his dad goodnight. Good night, Humph. And his shadow kissed his dad's shadow goodnight too. Good night, Dad. Good night, Shadow. Shadow, why are you there? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up, but I couldn't see you in the dark. I'll turn up the light so we can both go to sleep. Good night. to babysit. One night, Humph's mum and dad were getting ready to go out. Uncle Harry was coming to babysit. And he was bringing his girlfriend, Flora, too. He's here, he's here! Humph liked Uncle Harry a lot. Hello. Hi. Hello, Humph. Hi. Humph liked Uncle Harry's girlfriend, Flora, too. But... Where's Uncle Harry? He'll be here soon, Humph. He's coming straight from work. OK. Humph's mum and dad talked with Flora in the kitchen. Blah, 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 blah. 
and Hump played driving his tractor over the sofa and waiting for Uncle Harry. And then the phone rang. Hello. And Hump's dad answered it. Blah, 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 blah. We're going to go out now, Hump. But where's Uncle Harry? He's supposed to babysit me. Uncle Harry just phoned. He's running late, but he should be here soon. And in the meantime, Auntie Flora can look after you. Oh. Hump liked Flora too, but he had never heard her called Auntie Flora before. I'm sure you and Flora will have a lovely time. But I want Uncle Harry to read my bedtime story with the silly voices. Oh, don't worry, Hump. Harry will be here in plenty of time to read your bedtime story. So Hump's mum and dad went out. But there was still no Uncle Harry. Shall we have some supper, Hump? Your mum tells me that pasta is your favourite. But Uncle Harry always makes me peanut butter sandwiches. Does he? Well, guess what? I know how to make peanut butter sandwiches too. Really? Yes, um, but I don't know where the bread is. <laughs> it's over there. Humph told Flora where to find the bread. And where to find the peanut butter. But Flora found the plates all by herself. And she made Humph a peanut butter sandwich. Ta-da! Can you cut it up like Uncle Harry does? I'll try. But Uncle Harry cuts them the other way. Oh, oh, you mean in triangles. <laughs> OK, I can cut it into triangles. And Flora cut Hump sandwich into lots of teeny tiny peanut butter sandwiches. And they were all triangles. Hump had never had that many peanut butter sandwiches before. But there was still no Uncle Harry. So after supper, Flora ran Hump for bath. And Hump played in the bubbles. And Flora played too. Ooh! Can the cow come in the bath too? <laughs> Hump and Flora played swimming aeroplanes. And pigs like to splash. Ooh, splash. <laughs> and then it was time to come out. That's not my towel. That's Dad's towel. And that's my Mum's towel. My towel is Lelo. Oh, silly me. <laughs> Soon, Humph was all ready for bed. But there was still no Uncle Harry. Where's Uncle Harry, Flora? I don't know, but I'm sure he'll be here soon. But I want Uncle Harry to read my bedtime story. Well, guess what? I know how to read bedtime stories too. But Uncle Harry makes silly voices. And I know how to make silly voices. <laughs> so Humph got a book to read and he climbed into bed. And Flora started to read the story and made some very silly voices. The pig was very happy and he put on his best hat. Good morning, Mr Kitten, or should I call you Cat? And then the doorbell rang. I wonder who that can be. Uncle Harry, he's here, he's here. Hello, Humph. How's my favourite little furry thing? Come and listen, Uncle Harry. Flora's reading me a story and she's making silly voices. Oh, <laughs> does Flora know how to make silly voices too? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> So Uncle Harry and Humph listened together to Flora reading the rest of the story. And the dog and the kitten, the pig and the cow, finished their song and they took a deep bow. <laughs> 
Good night, Humph. Good night. Humph liked Uncle Harry a lot. And he liked Auntie Flora a lot, too.